Welcome students, it's me again, Teacher She. This time, we are going to discuss about finite, infinite, and null set. But before that, can I ask, how many notebooks do you have for your online class? Can you count them? Maybe some of you has one notebook, or two notebooks, or maybe six notebooks. It means your number of notebooks has a limited number of elements. Many things around us exist in a form of set. For example, in your house, there are a set of toys, a set of pets, and a set of appliances, and so on. The number of elements in this set can easily be counted. But, do all sets have an element that can be counted? Observe these two set of elements. Can you count the number of elements of each set? In the set of flowers, how many elements can be formed? There are four elements. Very good. Just like the set of notebooks, toys, pets, and appliances, this set has an element that is Countable. So, this set is finite set. In the other set, can you count the number of stars? No, we cannot count the number of stars. The set that is not countable is called infinite set. Let's have another example. We have here a set A and set B. Set A consists of a subject in your junior high school. What are those? English, Math, Science, Filipino, MAPE, AP, TLE, and HE. In Set B, it is consists of a days in a week. So what are those? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. In this example, set A has 8 elements. Set B has 7 elements. So therefore, these both sets are finite set. Next example, set of counting numbers. We all know that counting numbers starts from 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. The dots, the three dots that you can found in the set is what we call the ellipses. Ellipses indicate that the set continues in that pattern. So, ibig sabihin yan, tuloy-tuloy lang yan. Meron ka pang mga isusulat or idudugtong dyan sa mga elements na yan, pero sa infinite siya. So, if it is infinite, you are just going to write the three dots, which is the ellipsis, para masabi mo na meron pang susunod dyan. Okay? So, automatically, this set is infinite set. So, another example. A set of flying dogs. Did any one of you has a flying dogs? None, of course. So, this set is empty set because there is no element in the given set. So, let's do the recap. A set is a finite if it is possible to write down a complete list of all elements of the set and we can count the number of elements. A set is infinite if it is not possible to write down a complete list of all elements of the set and counting the number of elements never comes to an end. Next, a set is empty set or null set if there is no element in the given set. It is denoted by the symbol like this or this one. So now, Let's test yourself. So, for example, we have a set of first 10 letters in the English alphabet. 
So, what are the elements of this set? Again, please understand the sentence. The set of first 10 letters. Ang sabi niya, first 10 letters. So, what are those letters? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So, that are the elements. So, how many elements are there? There are 10 elements. So, what can you say about the set? Is it finite, infinite, or null set? Yes, that is finite set. Okay, another one. A set of triangle with four sides. Is there a triangle that has a four sides? Yes, no. There is no triangle that has four sides. So, the answer is empty set or null set. So, this set is empty set or null set. Another one. A set of odd numbers. So, ano ba yung odd numbers? It is a number that is not divisible by 2. So, what are the elements of this set? 1, 3, 5, and so on. So, what can you say about this set? Is it finite, infinite, or null set? So, the answer is infinite set. Okay, that's all for today. Next lesson, ways of describing set. Thank you for watching.